I saw on TikTok that if you wear a blue eyeliner, if you have dark eyes, it's supposed to make your eyes pop. So I'm trying that today, but quite honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. It might be a bit too much. It feels a little bit like I went back to my 13 year old self when I was wearing purple glittery waterline every day. So I don't know, it's kind of fun, but uh, maybe too much for me for every day. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. Today we are here for a rouge haul and try on again. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, I am a little bit obsessed with this brand. I have bought my first thing from them in like 2018, 2019. And since then I have been kind of collecting uh, some investment pieces that I'm hoping that will last me. And I will feel good in them, hopefully for the rest of my life. I feel like at this point, Rue should probably sponsor me or at least send me PR packages because the amount of times I have recommended this brand to people around me or on the internet is crazy. Let's have a look at the order. Um, I already had a look inside, had to. Um, I only ordered three pieces today. As always, you get a little card where they are telling you that you should share your looks with the clothes that you have bought because you have a chance to win uh, 200 euros worth of clothing at their place. Didn't have a luck yet, but maybe someday. I also packed everything into a tote bag the shape of a, like a beach bag rather than a regular tote bag. They're not doing the thing where you can use the tote bags as a, as a pillowcase anymore, which is a little bit sad, but I think this is also pretty cool for the summer. Um, the print of this bag reminds me of one of the dresses that I was... Let me put this aside, I think it's too low. The print of the tote bag reminds me of one of the dresses that I was actually thinking about buying, but then I had a look at the uh, materials that they are made out of and it seemed like it was more of a swimsuit material for like a full-on dress. Um, and while I loved the style and I think the color and everything was so flattering and amazing, I couldn't see myself wearing that material in the summer. Now for the things that I actually have bought. <laughs> so first off, I've got a top that is like super simple, summery, thin fabric with a little tie in the back. Um, it reminded me of these like It Girls t-shirts uh, tops that I keep seeing all over TikTok and social media. And I don't really have like cute, a little bit formal-ish tops so i thought this was well maybe not formal but like it's not a t-shirt i don't know if there is a, an actual word for this category honestly i think this is supposed to be a hundred percent cotton it's super lightweight it might seem a little transparent on the first glance so i'm really curious to see it later but the fabric feels super soft and very airy which would be perfect for the summer the second thing I got is this top. It's called the Axel top, I think. Now, I felt a little bit hesitant about this piece because it actually has like cups. And oftentimes things like this just don't fit me because my breasts are a bit too heavy. But in the picture, the model was not completely flat chested. So um, I had high hopes that this might fit. Also, it's a little bit stretchy in the back. Uh, so it might give some room. It's just by looking at the cup size. I have a feeling it's not going to work. But who knows, I might be pleasantly surprised. For the last thing that I got, uh, it's this super simple polka dot dress. With a little bit of a, like a tie in, in the center on top and also you can tie the sleeves a little bit. I have been looking for some neutral piece that I could wear in the summer and also maybe take into fall or winter and a black dress with like short sleeves felt like a perfect kind of piece to do this so I'm really curious to see how it fits on me. Um, I was a little bit undecisive between this dress and the Daria dress which is also like a black polka dot but it didn't have sleeves and I loved the dress, I also loved it in the purple version, however, I don't think I would be able to take it into the colder months because I couldn't really see a way this would layer that nicely and unfortunately the summer is not long enough. So yeah, here I am with the 
sleeved version and now let's try them on i'm so excited oh i almost forgot to mention here are my sizes for comparison I'll also probably leave them in the description of the video. So this is the Shauna top. Uh, I think it's absolutely wonderful and it fits like a glove. Um, my torso is a little bit short, so like I am leaving these buttons out. I could also probably tuck it in. Um, it is a little bit transparent, so I am wearing a bralette underneath. I think you can also see it a little bit when I turn in the back. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but you can like um, see that I'm wearing a bra. I didn't find it that flattering on me without a bra um, because it didn't necessarily fit exactly in the cups. Um, as you can see, like I could use a little more space in this area, but with the bra, it um, it's not really visible. I think this is such a versatile top. I could wear it with jeans. I could wear it with skirts, shorts. You name it, I think it's gonna work. Did I mention that in order to put it on, I actually had to unbutton everything and then hook it back in, so it's like kind of a vest rather than a top, but honestly, it doesn't really change anything for me. I'm definitely keeping this so nice. Such a wonderful piece for the summer. So this is the Gita dress. I think it fits wonderful. I forgot to mention that all of the pieces that I have bought now from Rouge are in a size 38. Very simple, but obviously I wasn't looking for anything crazy. It has got some uh, details here. You can untie this bit and get just a tiny bit more coverage, but in my opinion, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And then also you can tighten these bits um, on your sleeves, which let me tell you is quite a task when you have it on. Like it's kind of impossible. The length hits me just like below my knees. I'm not sure if the model that had it online on their website had it a little bit shorter. Um, okay. I guess I'm gonna climb on a couch again just to show you. Like right below my knees. Um, I do like this length. Uh, I think it's quite flattering. Um, the silhouette of this dress is also quite wonderful. Oh, I wish I had more space. <laughs> Definitely a keep and I can totally see myself wearing this uh, in the fall or in the winter with like maybe knee-high boots, um, you know, layered with a little bit of sweater. Also, one thing that I noticed on this dress, like it does have a little bit of puffiness in the sleeves, but compared to the Gabin dress, it doesn't have any padding. And I feel like this is a lot more flattering for a body type like mine with a bit of a broader shoulders. The material of this dress is viscose, so another wonderful piece for the summer that keeps it, you know, nice and breezy but uh, still gives you enough coverage. If that's what you're looking for, this would be a wonderful dress. Also, if you're working in the office, for example. Oh man, <laughs> I really wanted this to fit. I felt like it would work with a little bit of a stretchy thing in the back, but honestly, I feel like that's the reason why it's kind of ill-fitting because it's just not as structured as it seems and it might be a bit too stretchy now in the camera it doesn't look that bad but there is oh man i don't even know if i'm comfortable showing that on the internet uh there is like quite a bit of gaping here with the fabric and no matter how i try to put my boobs in the cups are just not big enough unfortunately um if it was a little more structured and this would fit flat on the chest, I think it would stand a chance, but right now the top is about as supportive as my parents were about my acting career. Not a whole lot in case it wasn't clear enough. <laughs> yeah, so if you were thinking about buying this and your chest is a little bit bigger, I don't recommend that. Uh, like no matter where I move my boobs, no matter how I adjust the straps, it just doesn't work because the support is not strong enough. Um, you know, it's moments like this that I would wish that brands like Rouge would have a free return policy. Um, 
Because, you know, I had no intention of returning anything. I have tried enough pieces from them that were size 38 and it, it worked. So I was kind of going for a sure thing. Also, the lady in the picture um, wasn't completely flat. So I was hoping this will work, but, you know, it doesn't. And now I have to pay like 20 euros to return this top. So it's a bit upsetting. Now obviously I was hoping that I wouldn't have to return anything today but unfortunately the other top just doesn't work for me so that will be going back. I'm definitely keeping this top and the dress. I think it's so flattering and it works wonderful and I just feel comfortable in it. And yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, maybe leave a comment, let me know what you think of Rouge, if you've ever bought anything from them and see you next time. Bye!